What's going on everybody? I was editing episode 15 and I realized that my mic is really messed up. So I'm coming in a little loud. So if you wouldn't mind, turn your headphones down a little bit if you're listening on headphones and you should be all right. Thanks for listening everybody. See you later. <sighs> yes, the, the, the TikToks. The TikToks. So <laughs> you got all these little challenges, the, the mm-hmm. bus it challenge. But the, yeah, the silhouette challenge is kind of the one that's that, that's big now and yeah, there's another one too i can't what is it june bug challenge or something like that sure i don't watch TikTok, yeah bro. The, i see them on instagram yeah. and stuff so yeah look, little challenges like that where you know what i'm saying i guess the word i want to use is your wife being explicit maybe i don't know which word i really want to use i don't think explicit is a good word but okay we'll, we'll okay. go with it for now i know what you mean okay Let, let's let's dumb it down a little bit your wife shaking your high ass for the tiktoks <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> let's just be, let's be I mean, about call that. a spade you know, a spade, yeah, man. Exactly. So, how do you feel if your beloved wife, my beloved sister in law, mm-hmm. would uh, do it for the TikToks? So, honestly, man, I don't think she really would care enough to do it. Uh-huh. But I think, what is it? I think kind of the vein started with the, I think it was the Don't Rush Challenge. Yeah. A while back, that's and what this I was is, talking about on the last episode. I yeah, the name of it. That's kind of the evolution of that, where you know, basically, since we're all here with nowhere to go, people got these dresses and new clothes and makeup for going out and shit. And why not get a few views by throwing on your good clothes because you can't use them any damn way? Yeah, and and it was cool. I enjoyed. So it. I, I get it. Um, but as far as how I feel about my wife doing. We'll just say the busted challenge or the silhouette challenge for the sake of this discussion. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, I don't really. So, so hold on, let me backtrack a little bit. So, there's a couple veins of it. There's like the the true ones, if you will, mm-hmm. where they like straight, you know, make it shaking ass or being sensual. We'll call it that or shaking whatever. Ass. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> um, so there's those, but then there's the other side of them where they like kind of hit you with the fake out, where it's like they act like they setting up and then they throw that Bible on you, or mm-hmm. like I saw one where they acted like they were doing it, but then the uh, the little shrimp looking aliens from Men in Black pop up. Yeah, like I think Kim would do something like that more so than anything, but mm-hmm. the actual going through with it, I don't think she would, but if she did, I mean, honestly. It really makes me no difference. Um, she doesn't even have TikTok, so I mean that that's that's for starters. Um, but I don't really think she would care enough to do it, and I don't think I would care enough if she did. I mean, I'd say, hey, you know, long as I can get behind the scenes and see what's going, on, you know, I'm good. Mm-hmm. But I don't really care. How about you? Because your wife, you know, she has the TikToks and. She she watches the TikTok. I'm sure she's Turn seen a couple there. thousand. <laughs> Let's stop saying TikTok. T- so I'm, I'm gonna keep saying the TikTok. <laughs> so she doing these, the TikTok. <laughs> these two old ass men on here talking about TikTok. They will sit sit their old asses down somewhere. Not that old yet. 35, 35 and kicking. Not that old yet. Um, but yeah, man. So your um, wife. You seen the movie Three Hundred, right? <laughs> yes. yes. Wh- which scene are we talking? So, in a, near the beginning time frame, you know, he, <laughs> Earth in the water. And then this is Sparta. Kick this motherfucking ass in the goddamn. I was Spartan, kick the shit out of her. I walk in the living room. Ooh, she tried to do it there. Ooh. Bust it. Mm. TikTok challenge. I don't want to get in trouble when this would come well, out. Well, yes, you are. Um, <laughs> the Foul Language Podcast does not condone or approve of any abuse to women whatsoever. This is purely for comedy and That's entertainment. It. That's it. I would Continue. never ever seriously do nothing like that. Of course, you honestly, though, bro, I think she can kick your ass, but that, that's just that's just what I'm thinking. I mean, but go that's go on or there, but you know, honestly, y'all, yeah, that's just not happening. I'm not you, trying to you, say I'm a dick. She'll come back on your ass like the uh, sequel, dancing on the backs of dead Greeks and shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's too. That was actually really fucking clever, right there. That was good. <laughs> I was impressed with that. That was really fucking dope. But yeah, man, that's a no-go for me, man. I mean, if you want to do it for me, not for TikToks and likes sure. and other shit, yeah, mm-hmm. what's it? What's it again and again and again? 
go for it. But to share, to share what what is, I don't like to say mine because I'm not a possessive person. But you sure, know, sure, sure. Share what's for me. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. To Understood. Share, to share what's for me, I don't agree with it. I mean, yes, your body, your choice. If you do it and you put the shit out there, it's already done. I'll for a couple of days and then I'm over the shit. I mean, true. Mm-hmm. but. Before it would happen, if it would have happened, because I know her, it wouldn't. It's same same thing with uh Kim. She wouldn't be interested in like really doing the shit and putting it on the TikToks and stuff. And I don't know what the <laughs> I don't know what the silhouette challenge is. I haven't seen that one. I'm gonna so ask that's you. the one where it kind of starts uh, like the same way as the busted challenge. Mm-hmm. And then I guess there's a filter on TikTok where it kind of gives you like a black and red. There's a song, I guess. And they're, they're like dancing to like a black and red silhouette. So it's like shadowed out so they can really only see your outline. But the crazy shit about it, though, is apparently there's some of these. Uh, I don't know what to call them. We'll call them degenerates. We'll call them losers. We'll call them good for nothing. I don't know what we want to call them. But apparently there there was a way and people were selling the shit to where you could in the software edit the filter out. Mm hmm. So, like, if you happen to do the silhouette challenge in the nude, they could filter your shit so they could see you. Lame ass virgin. And I was like, really though? <laughs> the fuck? Why? Just, I mean, the t- just go, just go to a website, and you know, right, right. <laughs> like, I, I, I just don't understand. Like, and it's like ten to fifteen second clip. You spending all this program and know-how and i mean it don't take a lot of work i imagine but yeah but i mean j- j- really just ah oh, just wait a minute i'm going to decode this filter and we're gonna see right. what's really happening like the fuck right right because right. a, a dude had posted he was like because because dudes do it do sometimes he was like all right fellas be careful when you're doing this thing because they can filter and and show all your business but and then there was an article i think i saw on like yahoo or something where they were saying that um, it was trending on Twitter and shit where they were like unlock it and post it. But again, it's all for the likes and the views that one, people are doing it. And then two, you know, they were do it if, um, you know, they have a site or a Twitter handle mm-hmm. where they have all the unedited ones or something like that, I'm assuming. And again, they do it for likes and views. But let me ask you a different question on it. So those things tend to go viral. Um, your wife does. Ha- I saw because I saw a couple where they use it as like to promote their business or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How would you feel about following it to do that? Oh, I think that's a very, very excellent and smart uh, marketing tool. Mm-hmm. Being that TikTok is like really, really hot right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, I, I I really agree with promoting your business on it, whatever your business may be. Even sure. uh, like I've heard her like chiroprac- this chiropractor dude is rapping about you know chiropractor uh you know like exercises for your back and shit it's it's really corny it's, it's sort of corny. you got some what's what's my what's my math teacher's name tim hartman john hartman yeah, yeah whatever for, for the chiropractor yeah what? yeah basically basically that's exactly what, i forgot what fucking beat he used uh what's that song by make the St- that body song by who Meg the Stallion, that body, yada, yada, um, that bullshit. So he, you asking me, like I would know. So he used the intro, the the instrumental for that shit, and was just rapping about you know exercise and shit, which is very informative. <laughs> I, I, I'm you I'm going to search for this shit when it, this is over. <laughs> Before I take my ass in the house, I have to find this because I got to see it. Is, As someone who frequents a chiropractor and if. Uh, very supportive of going to a chiropractor. I, I gotta say, I'm gonna ask my chiropractor about it when I see her again. I think yeah, I go like, next week. Hey, you are not doing the TikToks. <laughs> no, no, not well, not then, not my chiropractor. And then not just business promoting what I don't have a problem with. If like I know she did one with the boys, something about hold your hand out and the kids are gonna do something with your hand or some shit. Some something about a hand out and kids. I don't fucking remember. But you know, little mm-hmm. stuff like that, like the it's another one where you got the kids and it's like who is the loudest one? And you like dunk their heads in water or shit like that. You know, stuff oh, like that. Okay. Wow. Stuff like that is, is is okay. I agree with it. You know, mm-hmm. they don't submerge their fucking face like they get No, I know what you mean, like a quick yeah. splash real quick. 
and it's funny. They do it. The kids can do it to the parents and stuff like that. Like sure, sure, sure. Maybe, maybe we'll do a TikTok of uh, a foul language TikTok, and we'll let Mama dunk our head. Yeah, I'm not doing any damn foul language TikToks. Hey, you go get over the TikToks. Hard pass. We gonna do the TikToks. We go hard, hard pass. pass. <laughs> but yeah, man. It's, but the the whole shaking your ass and all that stuff for the TikToks. I mean, I'm not a insecure man by no means. Sure. By no means at all. But my personal opinion, if that's your girlfriend, cool. You you go ahead and bust it. You go ahead and bust that bust it challenge. You do that. But your actual wife, your wife. Sure. Yeah, she's not going nowhere. You know she's your wife and all that other mm. stuff. But it's the respect thing. Fair enough. I'm not on. I wouldn't be on TikToks in some, some sweatpants swinging meat. You know what I'm saying? So I mean. <laughs> And yet another reason why I won't never have a TikTok. <laughs> but you know, that's just my thought on it, man. And really, yeah. um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I, I support the the other stuff other than my wife shaking her ass for the TikToks. Yeah, I say you know, married couples, you know your spouse. Talk to your spouse yep. if you really wanted to do it, and. Your your day's not gonna be bright if you don't get to do the TikTok challenge. Then I'm sure you can work something out to some degree, make it hey, funny or something. You better get I don't your know. ass up there and do the Tootsie Roll or some shit. <laughs> do I don't know. Some some of them. Uh, Ken was showing me some of those TikTok challenges where man, they be doing like full ass choreographies and shit. Man, that's that's yeah. too much damn work. It is. Yeah, man. So the TikToks, the busted challenge, all that good stuff, man. That's cool and all, but. Honestly, if it's if it don't make money, it don't make sense. Yeah. Yeah. So let us know what you guys think about it, how you'd feel if your significant other decided that they had to do one of the TikTok challenges. So just throw a comment in there. Let I got us you saying TikToks. 